Hello, hello, this is Kara, and today I'm going to make a single signature journal using the June eClub Digital and some scrapbook paper and some of the, we're going to embellish using some of the 6x6 six six paper pad. So first we're going to make our cover. And I found in my stash this watercolory kind of uh, paper that has the same kind of watercolor feel as Edith's um, kit that she created. And then I also have this page that has the same kind of watercolor feel with the pink. And since this is one-sided paper, I thought if I put these two together, it would make a nice sturdy cover. So I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm just going to glue this and then I might need to set it aside for a little bit and then come back. So let's just add a little glue. Double-sided tape would work um, and I think that's what I would prefer to do. However, I am out of tape for my tape runner. So we'll do it this way. And I'm just going to add a little bit, not, not a ton, because I could always go, and I probably will, go back over this and sew. This is just to tack it all in. I'm just trying to line up my edges. And then I am going to trim off the white part, but I'm going to keep the height and the width of the actual page. So I think if this is folded in half, going to kind of mark, I want about that much, I'm going to mark about where I want it to fold up, which is right around here. So once I trim this off and this off, that'll be just perfect. All right. So I'm going to give this a minute to dry. I'm going to trim up my papers and be back. Okay. I have made the cover. I took this one and I put it on the outside and then the pink one on the inside. Folded it and did some stitching around the edges and I trimmed the white off of the pages and I added some of um oh what's the name of this kit and it came out with the floral overlay kit it's the rainbow watercolor kit and I thought it just went perfectly with the watercolor flowers and then a couple months ago in one of the club kits there are some book pages so I added those but I just thought the watercolor pages went really well there's this one with the coffee dyed watercolor page and that was purple more book page I had a small piece of the green and then this one is my center page so those are cut and ready to go and so yeah I think it'll be a nice little journal. All right. The other thing I did is I went and I kind of was going through my fabric. And I kind of came up with this for a fabric topper. 
I was trying to pull in some of the different colors on this page. So there's brown from the door, some bluey, teal, purpley colors. And I thought this would be cute as a topper like that. And then these are rub-ons. So I'm going to go ahead and tack this together and then run it through my sewing machine a little bit. And then this, it's a fun piece. Let's move this over. Actually, I want the straighter side. Good. So go like that. So I've had this in my stash forever, ever, ever. So it's nice, <laughs> but it will work. So I want some of that blue peeking through, and then I have this in my stash too. This little piece of applique. That was fun. I'm gonna put that right here, like that. And then I have this idea for this ribbon, and then this one here. So let's go ahead and do these rub-ons. I'm going to trim a little bit more. Go back to the top. These rub-ons are from Taperology. They come in a big pack with all different color uh, flowers. They're really fun. I'll show you the... Packaging upsized and they're all different. I have my animals and my flowers combined, but there's all different colors of flowers. I'll try and link them below if you're interested. Cute. I like it. And then let's do the butterfly. No, yeah, perfect. Love it. Works really well. And then just a little pop, little something. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of stitching just to kind of to give it a little something, and I'll be right back. Okay, so there it is, all sewn. Do a little bit around and then just around the squares and then we'll glue this on. It's going to go inside. So then we have some pockets and tuck spots. So let's go through and see where we would want to put these. I have some tickets too and some tags and some little labels, but we'll do those in a second. Let's just go through and add these pockets. I 
room because it wasn't that painful. Stitch it in and then embellish some more and make some tags. Hmm. I think I want to add some lace or something here. Let me go get a few things and then I'll be back. So I want to put something here to kind of cover that up. And that's fun. In the middle, we need something for our dangles. When our tag fell out. That's cute in the middle. Yeah. Okay, so now <clears throat> we also need a closure. So now I'm see if we can use some of this ephemera to make little clusters and then we need to add some tags. I also had this envelope or pocket that I didn't use and this. Yeah, add back here. That might be cute. Let's do that. All right, let me get a couple more things. Be right back. Okay, pulled out some ribbon. I don't know if I want that. Maybe this velvet ribbon. It's kind of fun, isn't it? Let's do that. labels and things and I pulled out some tags and then the different bits and pieces of ephemera. And maybe we can make some clusters and stuff all the pages. And just something simple like that. We 
you know what? I have this thing here. Some Baker's twine. Take it. Kind of wrap it around my fingers. Give it a little different texture. No, cute. of ephemera and I'm just going to glue it on the top like it did with the other piece and then we'll add some glue add some glue some tags. So we have these that Edith had in her kit. Let's see. Here we put the big ones in the front and the back. And will this fit in here? Yes, perfect. Like that. Alright, and then I'm going to take the 6x6 six six pad and let's make some tags. This is paper pad. Paper trimmer. I'm going to trim off the tops. Trim this up three. Three. So maybe these could become the tuck spots. Sounds good. I'm going to trim this off at three.
these little pockets. And then you have these tags, only string or ribbon, can go inside of that. All right, I added some finishing touches and let's take a look. So I added this safety pin and a Tim Holtz um, little gem. And then I, my closure is a piece of lace. I think that looks kind of fun. I added some dangles. And then the tags that I made, I went through and added those in. We have our little clusters throughout, another tag, another one of the big tags. This journal has lots of writing space and it could be embellished a lot further. I'm thinking about actually listing this in my Etsy shop since it's been a while since I've listed a journal. Let me know. Message me or in the comments, let me know if you're interested and then I could go ahead and list it or just make a, a personal listing if you're interested. But this would be a great writing journal. All right, and there's that. And there's the back cover. Pretty cute. And then this, we'll just wrap around again and it just ties on. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and um, check out the eClub kit. It's really fun now that Edith is doing uh, digitals that correspond with the kit and they are included. All right, check out the description and the link for the link below and have a wonderfully crafty day. Bye-bye.